What's up? What's good? It's your girl Courtney Beef, and I'm back with another video. We did it. We did it together. If you guys have not noticed, I recently reached 1K over the weekend, and I am so excited. I am so overjoyed. I am so thankful that you guys chose to rock with me and that you guys have been enjoying my videos. If you guys reached out to me during this time, I appreciate you. If you left me a sweet comment on any of my videos, congratulating me on our 1K. I love you and I thank you so much. So in today's video, I kind of wanted to give back, back and just do a nice little fun, glam, springy, summery look. This look is very easy to recreate. Let me quit rambling and let's go ahead and start this video. If you guys have not already, you already know what to do. Please, please, please hit that subscribe button down below and join the Beehive gang. And while you're at it, go hit that little bell down there as well. So that you never miss any more uploads from your girl. You'll be first notified whenever I do upload any videos such as these. <laughs> and without further ado, let's go ahead and just get started. I'm happy to be sitting down here to film right now. You guys do not know how excited I am for today's video. I feel like this light is making everything visible. Don't judge me. I have not primed my face at all, but to prime my face, I'm going to be using like a moisturizer slash primer that I've recently picked up from AliExpress, and this is 92% aloe vera gel. Now, this gel is, um, it's really moisturizing, and I literally just tap my finger in here, maybe all at once, because if not, you're going to look extremely greasy, and I rub it in my hand, and rub it on my face. And this just, I don't know what it does. It just does something for me. I cannot find my freaking bag. I'm gonna go ahead and spot conceal as normal with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Cafe. Even though my skin is very blemished, I don't really like to use a heavy foundation. So lately and for the past couple of months, I've kind of just been sticking to my Maybelline BB Cream. This is the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream, you guys. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you have seen this numerous of times. I love this stuff. Um, this is very sheer coverage. That's also why I go in with a concealer and I kind of spot conceal. And this is in the shade Deep Sheer Tint. And then I'm going to take my handy dandy pack of cosmetic wedges, sponges, cosmetic wedge sponges. I spray it with some water. This is not Mario, but that's some spray. And then we're going to just pat it in. This kind of just more so tones my skin to match my body. And I see that now. It doesn't really give me coverage. It gives me a little bit, but not much to where it's like, oh my god, this can replace a foundation. Like, no, I'm not giving y'all that those types of hope honey. Not at all. And whatever's left on the sponge, I'm just put it on my forehead, my concealer, y'all already know, my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fine. Now we're going to re-wet this sponge again because this is just soaking up all my little moisture. I don't know. I don't like these sponges. Time to set my face. I'm gonna use my Vinyl Luxury Banana Powder. When I use this, it's gonna be a little bit stark white, a little bit too white-ish, yellowish for my skin tone. So I'm gonna go over with a powder that's more so yellow. So hopefully that'll fix everything, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's how I used to do it, but I just want to switch things up. I'm gonna go ahead and start on my eyes while this is, mm, do I wanna let this sit on my face that long? I mean it can, it doesn't take me long. We're going to use my handy dandy white eyeshadow primer. This is by LA Girl. In any bright colored eyeshadow look, you're, you're gonna always see me use a white face just so that it'll make my shadows pop a little bit more. 
Okay, you guys, this is where you're gonna have to excuse me. I think I had a little company that came into the room while I was filming. So this is gonna turn into a little mini voiceover. Here I'm gonna just take this terracotta e terracotta e this terracotta ish looking shade by Amuse Cosmetics. I'm gonna leave the exact name down below, but I'm using this as sort of like a transition to get ready for my more pigmented and brighter eyeshadows. And I'm gonna use my Y445, I believe, by Morphe. I'm gonna take this Sephora shadow in the shade Red Carpet. And this is actually a peachy, neon pinky tone. So I have no idea why it's called Red Carpet. I'm gonna blow this out all into the crease, dragging it out towards the end of my eyebrow just to get the blown out effect. Now in the next clip, I'm gonna take my Morphe 35 M palette. I'm gonna take this shade right here just to kind of blend out the edges of the red carpet just a little. And I'm using my Morphe blending brush. I'll put the exact name for this brush down below as well. So I know some of you guys um, wonder what brushes I'm using. I'm gonna take this darker reddishy, brownishy, orangey shade from the same palette. I'm gonna put that and concentrate it on the outer corner of my eye. And this is a Sigma crease brush that I also got from AliExpress. I'll try to find the link and I'll link it down below in the description box. Now I'm taking pomegranate red from Coastal Sense. I feel like I use this for everything with my pencil brush also from Morphe. I'm going to put it on the outer corner of my eye, sort of trying to make a little bit of a wing, if you will. And I'm going to bring it out to the very, very tip of the tail of my eyebrow. Not trying to be too harsh, but just to make sure that it's there. And I'm going to take my blending brush just to blend out the edges so it won't be as harsh. Now I'm going to take my NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Medium, which doesn't really matter, but just in case you're wondering. And I'm going to cut the crease all the way around with this um, angled eyebrow brush that I also got from AliExpress. And I'm going to lay down this face to prepare for my shimmer color. And for that color, I'm using the Glow Down by Maybelline Eye Experts. I'm going to place that all over the area where I laid down the NYX concealer. And I'm using packing motions just so the concealer can pick up the color as bright as possible. I love this shadow. Now I'm going back into pomegranate red just to blend out the edges of the shimmer color so it won't be as harsh of a demarcation line between the shadow and the shimmer. Back to the Morphe palette, I'm gonna take this shade right here just to blend out some of the edges in the inner corner of my eye. If you guys have not noticed by now, I am a little under the weather. My voice is completely gone. I had a little bit too much fun this past weekend and I'm paying for it now. And it actually really hurts for me to speak. So um, if you guys don't mind, I'll actually let you guys just watch the video and enjoy the music. I will leave every product that I use in today's video down below in the description box in order. I promise you. If not, get on me. I will get to it. And I will see you guys much later. All right? Now into this highlight. Um, I've been really, really hyped about trying this new highlighter, but I'm kind of unsure. I'm kind of unsure I'm going to try it today because I don't know. I just don't want to throw anything off. But this is the Pudwire, Pudere, Pud. 
P something liquid highlighter corrector. I don't know why I said corrector, but it's the liquid highlighter. And I also got this from AliExpress, and this is in the shade 7. It looks like this. I'm not sure it's gonna be a little bit too dark for me. It comes in a glass little tube. Um, but it does, it looks like this. Um, I wanna try it out, but I'm scared that it may be a little bit too dark, but we're gonna see. First impressions right here on camera. Um, I brought an extra highlighter just in case this is a fail. I'm just gonna squeeze out all this in here. I'm just gonna put it on the, just like that. Just not even much, just a little bit. Okay, right off the bat, it's dark, okay? This probably was not my best shade to use. It fits me, it suits me more so as a um a bronzer and not really a highlighter. I should have gotten this in a lighter color, but it's pretty. I'm glad I brought um, a highlighter though, because I'd have been mad. I'm going to take this highlighter right here, and I know this is very familiar. This is not the actual glow kit at all. This is from AliExpress. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in the that Glow version. And I'm going to use Dripping in Gold, which is this shade right here. Actually, extremely pigmented. You might want to tap off a little bit of the excess. And let's see how. Ooh, okay. I forgot how cute it was. lip color is a little bit too pink for me so well too pink for for this picture for this look that I had in mind so I'm gonna use my Kat Von D um, liquid lipstick in the shade I think this is I don't know, scrape. this says number 13 but I think the name was Lolita I'll leave the link down below And I'm just gonna add back my little moly mold. All right, you guys, that is it. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the Beehive. I would be so happy you guys stick around for a while. If you guys stay to the end of this video, I thank you. Roxy, my darling, thank you so much. To celebrate our 1K, I like to do a Q&A. So if you guys have any questions that you would like to ask me, personal, beauty related, all of the above, I'm an open book. My shame button or embarrassed button is broken, okay? So just ask me anything, okay? Ask away. You guys can feel free to leave me those questions in the comment section or DM me through Instagram or actually post a question in the form of a comment on Instagram for my pictures. Either way, it'll all get to me. Please get your questions in. I would love to hear from you. I would like to take the time now to get to know you guys. Have a personal connection because I appreciate you all so, so, so much. As always, I love every single one of you. And until next time, your crown may tilt, but you never let it fall. Stay gilded.